My name is Amina Ghanem. I'm the executive director of an NGO in Egypt called the Egyptian National Competitiveness Council. I'm here to discuss how to rethink the role of the private sector in the Arab Spring countries. More than 50% of the labor force in our countries is under the age of 18. More than 1 million people every year join the labor market and they can't uh, find jobs. So what is the role of the private sector in creating jobs? Their objective is making profit, but they should also worry about another objective, which is social progress, job creation and welfare. The private sector has always been, in essence, a passive player. I mean, leave me alone, don't regulate, don't over-regulate me. But now I think we need the private sector to act more positively in having a role in what the government does. How strong a regulator should the government be? Uh, how transparent the government should be? Um, because inevitably you cannot divorce economic uh, freedom and reform from political reform. They go in tandem. You have to rethink the role of uh, the Ministry of Finance and the Treasury. If your main concern is, is, is raising revenues at the expense of of growth and, an, and a receptive, friendly business environment, then in the short term you might be able to make some money, but in the long term you will be affecting growth and job creation. One relevant example is the example of Ireland in the late 90s. It had lost a lot of FDI, uh, ed its education uh, system was in shambles, and, and it wanted to start all over again by bringing in FDI. So uh, one thing that they did was they abolished taxes. I think there's a learning lesson from the example of Ireland that we can try to apply in, in our countries. Maybe not necessarily complete abolition, of taxes, not, not relying entirely on CSR to fund education and health, but there is definitely a lesson to be learned from the experience of Ireland.